Hello and welcome to Academic Language and Learning, a service area of Learning, Teaching and Student Engagement Directorate at James Cook University. In this short video, we are going to discuss the IELTS test. IELTS is an international English language testing system which is privately owned and which takes approximately 1.5 million tests every year across over 130 different countries. The IELTS is marked in 800 different locations and uses native speaker examiners. It was developed in conjunction with Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the UK and the US and makes use of authentic reading and listening materials to grade students across nine bands. The IELTS is broken into two types of tests. The first is general which is used for residency visas, work visas and for high school students. The academic test is used for entry into post-secondary academic institutions. The IELTS tests four skill areas. These are reading, writing, listening and speaking. The first three sections are completed with no breaks in between. Total test time is two hours and 45 minutes. The speaking section is marked one to one with an examiner. In 2013, there were over 240,000 higher education international students in Australia. This equates to about 21% of enrolment. IELTS academic test acts as a gatekeeper for these students. Let's look at the structure of the test. Listening is divided into four sections. There are 40 questions which are answered over 30 minutes. Here is an example of the four sections becoming more complicated from section one to section four. Here is an example of questions that a student would need to answer as they listen to a text. The listening is the same module for academic and general training. However, the reading and writing sections are different. There are three texts divided into three sections with 40 questions and 60 minute completion time. Here's an example of a passage and some questions that a student would have to answer as part of the IELTS academic. The writing has two tasks and is also 60 minutes long. The first task asks a student to describe some visual information that could be a graph, a table, a process diagram, a chart. And the second task asks the student to respond to a point of view or an argument. So for example, here is a sample writing task one where the student will need to respond and describe these graphs. And here is a sample writing task two. The speaking test also has three sections and usually goes for about 10 to 15 minutes. Here is some example questions. Let's discuss scoring for reading and listening. Answers are transferred to a marking sheet and they are marked correct or incorrect. These raw scores translate to a band score. So you can see here that a band score 6 will require 23 out of 40. This means that a student coming in on an IELTS 6 has only to achieve a listening and reading comprehension of 57%. Let's discuss scoring, writing and speaking. Here is a example rubric or writing band descriptors. Each skill is scored separately and then averaged. So you can see the different uh, skill sets there, task achievement, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource and grammar range and accuracy. Number nine is considered a native speaker level. And number six is the lowest level that will be accepted at uh, most universities for undergraduate, postgraduate and research students. However, it's important to understand that a six is not a particularly strong score. So for example, in task achievement, one of the descriptors say their text might become unclear or repetitive. Similarly, coherence, not always logical, uh, lexical resource, some errors and uh, grammar errors, but they rarely reduce communication. Here you can see descriptors for the two separate tasks. The basic point here is that if a student can express their ideas despite errors, they can score a band six. If, however, they are unable to express ideas, they will drop down to a band five and it is similar for speaking. Let's have a look at a sample text. You can see here that there are some significant errors in the student response. However, examiner comments were there is an overall coherence. It's fairly easy to follow with good punctuation. Although there are some areas that become unclear and some errors in structure, it is still comprehensible and it is accepted as a band six. So how do we score these bands overall? The skill bands are added up and then averaged. So you can see it's possible to get an overall band score of six with a lower score in one of the skill sets. 